K-pop fans, they're coming for you. Hi you everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisanne and today we're gonna be doing another reaction video. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Chrisanne and I do a lot of reaction videos like this, art videos, covers, those stuff. So I do a lot of that. You can check down in the suggested videos or subscribe to my channel or just check some of the um, videos up there. So please don't mind the sound because I have a fan on right here. It's very hot. Um, okay, so today's video is Ghost 9 Think of Dawn. So Ghost 9 is from the company Maru, Maru Entertainment, and it is the same company of Pak Jihoon. And Pak Jihoon, if you know, he is from 101 and he is now a solo singer. So um, yeah, I thought that he was gonna be part of this group because, um, you know, he trained to be part of a group, but I think he's better off solo as well. So we're gonna check them out. Um, they're a newly debuted group. I think they debuted just a week or two weeks ago. And so we're going to check this out. Okay. Wow, I haven't heard drops like this in a while. Okay. 
every episode. Ah. Okay, I didn't expect this song to be as slow as I as it was. It's actually four minutes long, and maybe personally, I would have hoped it went a little faster. But when you hear the way the song was made, it was made to be very dramatic, especially when it comes to the chorus. Their hook chorus is na 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 Think of Don, think of Don, think of Don. Very memorable, and that's good. Also, they did use a lot of um, heavy, heavy bass, heavy bass, heavy, um, you know, um, trumpets, and you know, all those stuff. Very heavy, and um, from when you see the overall video, you understand why it's like that because it's supposed to. It like it came across as like a song you sing when you're going to battle. You get it. But the only part of the song that I wish they could have cut or made it a little bit more hype was I think the dance break. Also because I couldn't see their dance break fully because they were also um, cutting in a lot of uh, solo shots, profile shots. So um, that was a pity but you know if they maybe cut the dance part a little bit shorter so the climax still goes up. Choreography. Their choreography is very heavy. I would say um when i say very heavy it means they they lock their bodies and a lot of their weight like every step they took had a lot of weight and that is good for the way they danced it um because dancers are usually light on their feet but when they need to be heavy on stage meaning each step has like a uh, a weight to it that provides more um power more stage presence and that's what it looked like very well trained obviously and also their movements are very synchronized which is very important and that all of them have the same weight i used to be in a group and i swear <laughs> i was the worst one and i had to match up to everyone else so the weight of my dance movement has to be the same and they call it pulso so um it means pulse like your group has the same pulse when you dance it's like everyone like if you pop like that everyone has to pop the same way in the same the same movement same bounce same everything and every time uh like and for example if a new member comes in they have to adjust to that and this group they all have the same pulse so which is great if they do future choreography that's a little harder they'll they'll definitely still look like a whole group their production was very good. I would say that their production reminded me, me a lot of The Matrix, which there were a lot of references here. Like there was one where he was connected to like a line and there was another one like um, there's the Matrix numbers, the binary code going at the back. There was also another part where one of the guys had to like open something and then the door opens and you can see like a robot. That happened in The Matrix as well. Also, um, the fact that they were stuck, like they were stuck like in some sort of cage almost. And I really like how it makes you think of like um, realities and all that. And I'm so glad that they did this. Think of seeing the outside, think of freedom, think of seeing a new light because you're stuck in this little box. You're just stuck up there. And so I really like the message and yeah, I really like the production. They did so well. It looked like a movie almost at some point, especially when you see the dust particles flying everywhere. Their styling, um, I wouldn't say it's generic, but uh, the dark outfits suit the concept very well. It's of course, uh, I would categorize this as apocalyptic, futuristic. You can check out all the other concepts there because um, each group has a core concept when they debut. They have to have like a certain um image and this one definitely their image is strong and their image falls under the dark the dark futuristic that's where i'm getting at so you can check their other concepts other groups that have the same uh, appeal is monster x it has a similar entity one to seven has a very similar like, very futuristic also super m um, visuals i could not concentrate on the visuals 
which is a good and a bad thing. A bad thing because um, I couldn't really tell who's the visual, who really stood out. Oh, there was one that stood out, um, the thigh member. I did research on their um, profiles before. The thigh member stood out because he looks like uh, Zia's Dongjun. Um, yeah, he looks very similar. Now that I see him, like, you know, in vid video, he looks like that. This is a really, really good concept. It really matches their name, Ghost9. Because, um, I, I would think, like, they're, like, those rebels for with a cause fighting and, you know, you don't want an identity tagged to them, so they're called ghosts. Just my mind working, but um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was such a good music video. I can't wait to see how they're gonna expand on it because they said that, uh, this is a pre release single or something, The Door. So maybe this is a pre debut. It's a debut, pre debut. So I think their next music video will be in connection to this. That's what I love about it as well because um, it's going to be a story, it's going to expand on that. Um, other groups that do this are like Dreamcatcher and G Friend and I love how they connect their music videos and their stories, meaning there's a bigger plan, right? Aren't you guys excited? I'm very excited. Also because I had two cups of tea. Literal tea. This is two cups of tea. Yeah, I'd love to know your comments in the comment section down below. If you guys have any suggestions, put in a request and then I will get, the, get to it. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification for updates. And that is it, guys. Um, I gotta go. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!